Welcome to this 25 minute no equipment workout. We'll begin with a step tap side to side, rolling the shoulders front to back, and then a switch to reaching across the body about shoulder height. Warming up the body in preparation for our workout. And reach overhead, stretching through the side body continuing to step tap side to side, moving at your own pace. Maybe gradually picking up speed and range of motion, switching to a squat with a reach overhead and a stretch of the arms down. As we squat, we'll switch, leaning side to side in an easy side lunge. Arms can stretch down and up waking up through shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, beginning to feel some stabilization through the spine. Let's turn to the side, finding a lunge position, and we're doing a chest fly with the arms as we lift and lower the back heel, mobilizing through the ankle joint and the foot, and waking up through the chest and the scapula, Switching sides, opposite side. This time, working through external rotation in the shoulders. So arms to that cactus shape and we're just rotating fingers and thumbs down and up as the back heel lifts and lowers, waking up through opposite ankle and foot. And a few more rounds here. Squat and stretch the arms overhead, reaching the arms down. One final warm up before we get into the workout. We're switching to that side lunge, side to side, arms stretch overhead, getting that heart rate up, maybe moving a little more quickly. And we're ready to head into our first exercise. So for our first exercise, it'll be a close leg squat, a wide leg squat to the side, close leg squat center, and then squat to the other side. Continue at your own pace. As you squat side, center, opposite side, think about alignment through hips, knees, and ankles. Sitting back into that imaginary chair, keeping spine lengthened, maybe affirming through the abdomen to support the core, the torso as you move and it's break time. So our next exercise is a upside down v-shape on the mat. So we'll head into that upside down v-shape here. Knees can be bent as much as you like and then it's a lift of one hand away and then a lift of the other hand and bend and stretch the knees. One arm lifts away, second arm lifts, ground and then bend and stretch the knees. So continue in this pattern, working for some strength work through the shoulders, the core. And your hands might not float away from the mat. A sense of lift is what we're going for here. Working for some overhead shoulder flexion. Just a few more seconds in this round. Wonderful, we're heading back up to standing. Our next exercise will be a curtsy lunge. So we're stepping behind and crossing back with one leg and then back to center, switching sides behind and back. Alternating sides with that curtsy lunge at a pace that feels comfortable to you. Continuing to breathe, keeping the spine tall As you curtsy, noticing the alignment of hip, knee, and ankle. A few more seconds here. And that's our break time. 
let's uh, take a few breaks next. We're going to be moving into a tabletop position on the hands and knees. So setting up stacking hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're fanning the arm out to the side, the opposite leg stretches, then curling elbow to knee. Elbow to knee curls, the arm and leg stretch. So opposition raise, and a knee to nose curl. We're really strengthening through the core, working through the shoulder, the scapula, as well as the glute and back. So thinking about squeezing that glute as the leg stretches back, squeezing the shoulder blade in toward the midline as the arm extends, and as we curl in, rounding head towards knee. And that's our interval break. That was all one side, so we're taking that same tabletop extension opposition raise and then elbow to knee on the second side. And we're setting up, stretching arm and leg, and then curling elbow to knee under the body. Stretching opposite arm and leg, curling elbow to knee. Arm stretches out right out from the body in a T-shape. Leg is stretching straight back, or maybe the knee stays bent, pressing the heel skyward. Continuing to work through, opposition raise and elbow to knee at your own pace. Squeezing shoulder blade into midline, squeezing the glute as the leg extends back, and curling forehead to knee under the body as you bring opposite knee to opposite elbow. A few more, and then that's our break there. Next, we're heading into some standing work with leg raises. Now, I'm using a prop, a foam roller to aid in balance. You could use a wall, a chair, another piece of furniture. So here I'm balancing on one leg and lifting opposite leg. As I lift, keeping the kneecap, the top of the foot facing forward, so my leg does not rotate here. I'm really focusing on the top outer hip area as I lift and lower the leg. Continue to breathe. Feel affirming through the abdomen to support through the torso. And break time. So just taking a few breaths here. We're switching to the other side. So setting up to balance on opposite leg. Second side it can always feel a little more challenging. Continue to breathe here as you lift and lower opposite leg. I'm using a foam roller for some additional balance support. You might be using a chair or a wall, another piece of furniture, or no balance support. Lifting and lowering that outside leg. And again, keeping knee and top of foot facing forward. So I'm really focusing on the top uh, outer part of the hip here, that gluteus medius muscle and other supporting muscles here. And a few more seconds on this side with a standing leg lift. That is our break. So as we break, our next exercise is going to be a push-up with alternating side planks. So a push-up can be on knees or feet. You can bend the elbows a lot or a little. Push-up and then we rotate side to side in side plank. So again, push-up can be on knees, side plank can be on knees or on feet. You might choose to switch to elbows when you go into side plank, if you like. Rotating side to side and with the push-up in between. I'm taking a close arm push-up here, elbows close to the body. You might choose a wider arm push-up. That's up to you today. Just a few more breaths here. And that is our break time. 
Our next exercise as we break and breathe a little bit is going to be an ab prep or an ab crunch with some V crossovers. So working a little bit of um, the inner leg as well as the front core. So lifting and lowering the upper body and opening and crossing the legs in whatever pattern works best for you. Opportunity to hover the upper body above the mat the whole time for additional core challenge. Opportunity to move as quickly or as slowly as you like in this exercise. And continue to breathe for a few more seconds in this interval. Great, and that is our break. Our last exercise is going to be a spine extension with some scapula work. So lying on face down, we're lifting the heart away from the mat and then squeezing the shoulder blades together and back. As we lift the heart away, we squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. And just lifting and lowering here in the spine extension exercise I'm also squeezing the legs together to feel a little extra um, inner leg work, supporting some of those hip stability muscles, strengthening there. Continue to breathe, lifting and lowering, squeezing the scapula together. Maybe feeling a squeeze of the legs together as well. And sensing into some length in the low back. And that is our interval break. Oh, we are ready for round two. So we're taking the same exercises and repeating them. So we're starting from the top next with that squat center, step out to the side and squat, squat center, step out opposite side. Getting started when you're ready. Second round, squat center, squat side, alternating right and left. As we move into second round, sense into the body and move at a pace that will be challenging for you, but not overdoing. We're looking for a balance between effort and uh, relaxation. Continue to breathe for a few more moments as we squat side to side. And then that is our break. So we're moving next into that upside down V shape. We're just about ready to start that next interval. Pushing into that upside down V shape on hands and feet. And option to lift one arm and then the second arm. And then grounding the knees bend and stretch. So one arm lifts, then the second, then knees bend and stretch. And continuing this pattern throughout the interval opportunity to leave the hands grounded and find a sense of float through the hands rather than a lift away. You could also take this series on the knees rather than on feet or even on the elbows. Continue to breathe, moving through this series for a few more seconds in this interval. That is our interval break. So taking a few deep breaths here. Next is our curtsy lunge. So for this one, we're stepping behind and back to the corner, opposite corner, taking that curtsy lunge and alternating sides, right and left. Arms are any position that feels like a good counterbalance for this lunge. Continuing to breathe, doing your best to keep it, the spine tall and lengthened as you lunge back. Feeling some firming through the core. And lengthen the spine for a few more moments in this interval. 
that is our interval break. Our next two interval rounds will be that tabletop exercise where we're taking an opposition raise and then a knee to nose. So it's stacking hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We stretch opposite arm and leg skyward and then curl elbow and knee toward each other under the body. Option to stretch the arm out to a T-shape to the side and maybe keep the knee bent, pressing the heel skyward as the leg extends back. So in this exercise, we are working stability through the core, the hip, the back body, as well as sensing into a squeeze of the shoulder blade into the midline and a squeeze of that glute as the leg extends back. Continuing to breathe, stretching opposition rays and knee to nose for a few more moments in this interval. And that is our interval break. So we did first side. On that interval, we're switching sides for that opposition raise for our next interval. So finding tabletop position and second side, opposite arm, opposite leg lift. We're curling knee to nose under the body and stretch and curl. Working stability through the core as well as squeezing the glute and the shoulder blade into the midline, maybe gently downward toward the glute. Option to stretch the arm to a T-shape here in that opposition raise. Maybe bend the knee so the heel presses skyward as the leg extends back. Continue to breathe for a few more moments in this interval. And then that is our interval break. We're heading next to some standing work through the outer hip. This time, if you choose, you could take a variation where you're hinging forward at the hips and then lifting the leg out to the side. I'm using a foam roller as a balance aid. You might use a chair or a wall, another piece of furniture for some balance support or none at all. Here we're getting a little more focus on the hamstrings, um, allowing them to be a little active. Because we're hinging forward at the waist, the hamstrings are doing a little eccentric work to support that standing balancing leg as we lift that outside leg. Squeezing into the outer hip, and that is our, our break. We're switching sides. So, same setup. We're hinging forward at the waist and lifting the opposite leg this time out to the side. So once again, we're getting maybe a slight hamstring focus, a little eccentric stability work here as we lift and lower the opposite leg. And continuing to breathe here as we work through the muscles of the outside of the hip and maybe with a little more focus on some hamstring work. Breathing and lifting. For a few more moments here in this interval. And that is our interval break. Our push-up and side plank round is next. When our break is over, we'll set up for that push-up with an alternating side plank, side to side. Same choices here. Plank can be on knees or feet. Elbows can be close or wide for that push-up. We do a push-up and then we take a side plank side to side and then repeat. You could drop to your elbows during side plank to support wrists here. And you're welcome to change your options at any time. Knees, feet, elbows, hands. Continue to breathe and work through this push-up to side plank position interval for a few more seconds. And 
and that is our interval break. Our next round as we take a break will be that ab prep with the legs going into a V and then crossing over. So in this exercise we're focusing on the front core as well as activating the muscles of the inner leg. So legs can cross over and the upper body can lift and lower in a crunch at whatever rhythm or pace makes sense to you. You have an option to hover the upper body above the mat the whole time for additional challenge. Move slower or more quickly as the legs cross. Opposite leg, alternating sides. And then that's our interval break. We're taking a few breaths in between. Our very last interval of the workout is a spine extension with our scapula squeeze. So arms by the sides, lying with face down. We lift the chest away and squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then lower. Lift and squeeze and lower. So as we lift the heart center away from the mat, the shoulder blades draw together and down. You might add a squeeze of the legs together to activate the inner leg a little bit more. Continue to lift and lower, breathing here through this last interval of our workout today. Just a few more seconds in this interval. And that is our signal for a cool down. So making our way to standing and maybe just a step side to side, swaying, maybe rolling through the shoulders, allowing the heart rate to come down a little bit. And just finding some breath here as you begin to slow your body's movements. Movements become smaller. Just an easy step side to side or a step tap. Maybe slightly smaller steps, slower movement as time goes on. Be finding some more grounding, a little more of a sway or a lean side to side. And then you might find some movement through the shoulders and neck, just allowing the body to move as it likes as we're moving towards a little more stillness in our workout. Cooling things down. Maybe a sweep of the arms up and a roll of the wrists down a few times to close our workout today. Sweeping arms up to shoulder height and then rolling the wrists as the hands come down to the sides. Maybe one more time. Thank you for joining me in this workout.